Colonel David Colin Ingit. My name is Hussein Yavuz. My name is Aida. Michael Day, we're going to go over some paperwork first for the processing, and I've got your folders each year. Lieutenant Colonel Inketa, if you could just wait a second while we get the others out. Uh, Superintendent Yaros. And this. Okay. Yes, it's the first time in Marshall Center, and I'm really glad that I'm here because uh, the course I I am participating right now, Stacks. It's really interesting and it will help me to get more informed, to be more informed uh, on the issues of security, especially civil security issues, which is very important, not, I think, only for my country, but for all countries. A little bit now and give me your best smile. This is my first time in, uh, in Garmisch, Germany. It's actually my first time in Europe. I've been to other parts of the world, but this is my first uh, European experience. The Stax course uh, basically talks about, uh, you know, responding to crisis, uh, you know, emergency, you know, issues or situations. And uh, to me, it's, uh, it's a, a real experience because uh, it's talking about things that are considered non, uh, you know, traditional military, you know, duties. Like responding to crisis is not uh, a traditional military task. So it's quite an eye-opener and it just goes to show how very much involved you know, militaries are all over the world in assisting you know, the local authorities. Uh, I am the chief of anti-terrorism unit and uh, it is a pleasure for me to be here and we are sharing information with the other members of our, our countries. Some of them are soldiers, some of them are police officers, some of them are fire department employees. And we are sh sharing our best practices together with them. And this is a very nice opportunity for me to have this experience and to share this information when I return to Turkey. The next thing we had to deal with was the idea of poor communication. If you, cannot, if you cannot communicate to the other elements that are, that are responding with you to the disaster, your chances of coordination and integration are, are nil. So it's what? Nothing. Okay? Wherever you are, I think people matter. And in my case, I should say that the faculty was great. I mean, we had uh, great lecturers, and I think we had the best leaders of our working group. Uh, they are Mr. Brett Lovegrove and Colonel Philip Lark. They are awesome. They were very helpful, supportive, and it was interesting to talk to them about different issues because they are practitioners and we could get information from the first hand. And it was really interesting on our discussions and working groups. And besides, um, if we do not even consider our lectures in our daily life, they always supported us. Also, they have a good sense of humor, which is very important. And also, I think that we had one of the best working groups. In certain areas, for example, culture may be in a situation or in a place that doesn't allow certain aspects of people to help or assist. Uh, I have been in the United States before, uh, for a few months, also in United Nations mission exp experience. That's why uh, my, I developed my English uh, to some extent. 
but uh, for the last three years I have been working in Turkey and uh, it became a refresh here for English language and I remembered all the, my experience in United States and United Nations mission and 60-70% uh, it is good, I can understand. Is there a group separation? Yes. Uh, groups 1, 2 and 4 in here. Uh, and yeah, this the working group 1, 2 and 4. Oh. Did you get enough sleep? Uh, yep. Oh, yeah. 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 I actually went to bed uh, a bit early. Uh, fully, fully ready for action means that the dog is fully trained in two, two areas. One is a general search dog, and second, specialized in tracking down a particular substance. <laughs> Uh, I learned quite a lot, uh, especially the role that uh, the, the police can play in really providing security to the aviation industry. Because we are taking through uh, a diff you know, different uh, security measures that uh, the German police you know, have at the airports. You know, they check you know, procedures and stuff. And even some of the capabilities uh, like you know, the K9 and uh, using technology such as you know, the, the robot you know, for searching of, uh, you know, dangerous materials. It's about organization uh, that, and there are only volunteers there that help emergency bodies that work in here in Germany uh, and help them in case of fires or earthquakes and so on. They are not paid for this job. They do this job in parallel with their basic work. Also jeder durchläuft zuerst bei uns ein halbes Jahr Grundausbildung. Jeder neue, der reinkommt. Und dort lernt man ganz grundsätzliche handwerkliche Tätigkeiten. When you join, uh, you get, get the general training and you learn all the most general things in your initial training when you join the group. Und danach kommt man dann in eine Gruppe and then you und, a member of a group. Und, und lernt die Spezialaufgaben dieser Gruppe, wie hier Infrastruktur learn, oder uh, the special, specialities of this group, or infrastructure support, oder Bergung or oder Ordnung. And uh, what was also surprising that they have also children, uh, they trained them in order to have a next generation of people that could help. And also I was surprised that they had um, a very good equipment, I mean cars, equipped cars with different stuff for rescue stuff, let's say. And it was really amazing. And also they made a kind of performance, how they deal in different situations. And they showed us how they uh, rescue and save people in the case of earthquake or something like this. It was really amazing. And the children, they also showed their skills, how they help to move people uh, from uh, the place of disaster to a safer place. It was really good. By the way, we did not have such kind of experience in my country and probably it would be um, great to also to tell. Uh, we have a Ministry of Emergency Situations, we have different NGOs that work in this sphere and probably it would be also great to learn this experience here in Germany. So it was useful and interesting. I think it's a perfect home away from home. You know, the, the rooms are well finished. We've got you no know, television. We've got a desktop with internet. You know, the internet access is okay. It's perfect. Yeah, we keep in touch with uh, with our homes. I think I use uh, more the gym facilities, so I use it a lot. I use uh, the machines, and uh, it's it's just quite uh, you know a good facility.
because there is the atmosphere is nice, the place is nice, and everything is well organized here. That's why in a few in a few days I am concentrated everything. Every day I am getting more comfortable, <laughs> and it will be more hard to return our countries. <laughs>like to say first of all to thank them all uh, starting from the head of the Marshall Center the director uh, the faculty itself uh, mr. Clark who is uh, heading this tax and uh, all our lecturers and guests that we had during this seminar uh, for provided opportunity to get more information to be better informed on common challenges and threats that we have today. So thank you uh, for this seminar and for all the knowledge and information that you provided to us.